So to sort of put the, the group into context, um, there is this paradigm out there that jellyfish are increasing globally. You pick up the newspaper and you know it's you, you see it there. Even I've been guilty in the past of saying that in the science paper. And so you, you know you tend to say that to to put it all into context. But if you really look at it, um, there is the these claims that they're increasing globally are just unsubstantiated with with any data. There's no data to to support those claims. So, um, you know, we as a as a sort of jellyfish community had been talking about that for a, for a little while. And when this opportunity sort of someone said, well, you know, there's NCs and this might be a good opportunity to do this. So that's sort of laid the foundation to sort of apply for a for a working group. Um, to, to look at this question, but really the, so that's the motivation, the direct motivation, but if you think about it, it's really important question to get right. Yeah, there are socioeconomic implications, um, both now, but also in the future as well. Um, there are clearly implications for the way the oceans function. Um, blooms have been there for millions of years. We know, we know that, so clearly they play a key role in food webs, but they're perceived as being this sort of trophic dead end um, nuisance species, but but again, no one's really done these type of analyses, and that's what we're doing here at this this particular workshop. So that's the that's the motivation for the for the group, and um, when when we put the proposal together and we started sort of approaching different people to to be a part of the the working group. You know, it was just instant enthusiasm and, and commitment, and I think that hasn't waned at all. Um, it's, you know, if, if anything, it's it's gotten stronger to sort of get that that final final so, goal. So. The, the core goal of the group is to assess the current paradigm. You know, we're doing other things as well, but it's really to assess this current paradigm that jellies are increasing globally, and I think. It's we're forming this this database with the folks here at at NCs called Jedi Jellyfish Database Initiative. My my wife come up with that, <laughs> so it's on record now. But um, it's to provide this tool to sort of assess whether we can make the claim that they're increasing globally. I asked the question um, to the group and just just colleagues in general. What do you think? Yes, no, maybe. Do you think jellyfish are increasing globally? And it's actually an interesting response. Um, you know, it's got kind of spread across across the board. You know, whether there are some in the yes, some a couple of no's, and a lot of maybes. And so, that's essentially what we're doing here. Is we're sort of providing that that tool to sort of, you know, to m make sure that the claim that's there is like, if it's a yes, then it's definitely a yes. Right, so to speak. In terms of the study, we're at a point now where we're going to be using JEDI to to really get at this question. And our final workshop in, um, I think it's going to be in February, is is when we're really going to start analysing this qu this question. It's been an interesting experience, just on a personal level, just managing a, a global team of scientists and making everything cohesive and everyone happy has been a interesting but um, fulfilling experience. And it's certainly opened up a lot of options and collaborations with friends now. You can call them friends rather than colleagues. <laughs>